we've contracted to make two acquisitions this year. Uh, you just read about one, uh, perhaps in this morning's paper. It, was, it went on the tape at 7.45 yesterday morning Central Time. Um, and that involved the uh, contract to buy McLean's from the Walmart company. McLean's is a very large uh, wholesaler to uh, all kinds of institutions, but convenience stores, quick serve restaurants, uh, the Walmart operation itself, theaters, uh, restaurants, and uh, this year we'll probably do something like 22 billion of business. Uh, so it's a very substantial enterprise with distribution centers around the country with much in the way of transportation equipment. Walmart had owned McLean's uh, since about, I believe, 1990. Uh, it grew substantially while they owned it. It's been run by a terrific manager who's here with us today, Grady Rozier. And Grady uh, took the business from $3 billion to $22 billion or thereabouts. Uh, Walmart, for very good reasons, uh, wants to s specialize in what they do extremely well. And uh, uh, th through Goldman Sachs and company, we were approached by them a little while back uh, about the possibilities of buying the business. Uh, it's a bu it, it really makes sense for both sides because Walmart uh, uh, knows what to do with the capital very, very well in their own business and has lots of opportunities. And this was something of a sideline to them. On the other hand, their ownership of, of uh, McLean's uh, resulted in uh, certain people that would be logical customers of McLean's not wanting to do business because they didn't want to do business with a competitor. And we plan to see all those people very soon and explain to them that that's no longer the case and they can, they can sleep well at night doing business with us and not worry about benefiting their competitor at Walmart. So this deal, uh, a representative of Walmart came up last Thursday to Omaha a uh, week ago this past Thursday, a CFO, and uh, we made a deal in uh, maybe an hour or two and shook hands. And when you shake hands with Walmart, you have a deal. And uh, so the time remaining until yesterday morning, a uh, contract was, drawn, uh, was uh, put together, and it must go through the Hart Scott Rodino process in, um, to be cleared, but there's obviously no conflict. So we fully expect that in just a few weeks that McLean's will become part of, uh, of Berkshire. And uh, uh, it serves presently about 36,000 of the 125,000 or so convenience stores. If you take the 50 largest convenience store chains in the country, it does 58% of the business with those companies, sells sells each convenience store an average of perhaps 300,000 or a slight bit more of product a year, which those convenience stores uh, then resell to the consumer. It also serves about 18,000 quick serve restaurants, primarily those operated by Yum brands uh, uh, the Taco Bell and Pizza Hut and the uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken group. Um, and it will have opportunities to, to serve many more uh, as we go along. So we're delighted if any of you get a chance to see Grady, or better yet, if any of you own a convenience store, uh, step forward and uh, we'll be glad to uh, uh, give you our card. Uh, it's, it's, it's really, uh, you know, Walmart knows that we will be a good owner. They know we'll be good for the people that work at McLean's. They know our check will clear, that we won't, we won't uh, uh, you know, make a proposition and then run into the final contract later on. And it's just an ideal way to do business. And we're delighted to add McLean's to the Berkshire uh, group of companies. Uh, it's a very narrow margin business, obviously. I mean, when you get up to 22 billion of sales and you've got Hershey and Mars and people like that on one side, and you've got buyers like 7-Eleven and Walmart on the other side. They're not going to leave a lot in between, but you have to perform a valuable service for them 
in order to earn, you know, say one cent on the dollar pre-tax. But uh, McLean's knows how to do it. It's a very efficient operation, and uh, it will continue to deliver value to both the uh, uh, their vendors and their and their customers. 